How are you today? I am in my element. My name is Renee, in case you don't know me. I started a business outside, very untraditional than a business you might have heard from before, even here. I see a lot of people, they started their business when they used to work for somebody and they used to do this and they used to do that. And I used to do the same. I used to work for somebody too. I used to work for a telephone company. I used to work for Lynn's Nissan. I used to work for the airport um, as a ticket agent. And I worked in the baggage claim area, going standby all the time. And if you're a single mom watching this, that's why I titled it For Single Moms. You might have done a lot of things too. And then maybe the whiff or the inkling to, you know what? I'm sick of working here. You know what? I'm tired of these people. You know what? I want to do my own thing. I wonder what I can do to make some income for myself. What could I do? What am I good at? What are my gifts? What are my talents? What are you good at besides raising children? Because I think that comes as an instinct. When you have a baby, it's just like you're going to just drop everything to do for this little bundle of joy. And that's what it is, whether you're with the father or not. You're going to drop everything to do for this little bundle of joy. And it's rightfully so. It's a part of you. It's your DNA. Hell, that shit hurt coming out. Or maybe it didn't. Maybe yours just slid out. Maybe you got a couple of epidurals and it, here we are. That's fine, too. And I say it's fine because it's whatever you want to do. <laughs> you know, it's whatever you want to do. You know, there's some women that um, they have children via another girl, via another source, you know? They don't even have the baby, but that instinct of love is still there. Am I right? Leave me a comment, am I right? It's still there. Therefore, we have this motherly love that we have and we give and we nurture. But like I say, whose life is this? For the single mom, whose life is this? Is it yours or is it your child's? Because I have a little bother, check them out. My teen, my bother. He's rambunctious. He's 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 everything that I've ever wanted in a son. But I had my son unexpected. <laughs> Getting back to the business stuff. You can think of something and having a business unexpected. You don't have to be in your 20s. You don't have to be in your 30s. You don't have to be in your 40s. There's no age. You don't have to be in your 50s or your 60s you can just be and do whatever you want to do as far as having a business being a single mom that right there could be a challenge within itself because remember I said we drop everything we want to do for the bundle of joy yes but there's certain techniques that you can use to get your mind acclimated on what you want to do and it's a simple technique that I use I know you've probably heard of it before um, it's tapping Let's tap to together today, but we're gonna do a different tapping because I'm athletic. I come from an athletic background. I used to play softball. I was a cheerleader. I threw javelin, um, medals and everything for my track ability. I'm pretty quick and very agile and very athletic. And I used to be very competitive, but as I got older and experienced this journey of called life, the only competition that I'm in is with myself. And I love it. So let's do some different type of tapping. So if you're athletic, get your shoes, get your jumping shoes, get your, uh, just get in the, if you like walking in thongs, one of my girlfriends, her name, I'm not going to say her name, but one of my girlfriends, she wears stilettos and she can run in her stilettos. So get whatever you want to get going to move, you, move that body, to move that body with me. We're going to do some single mom tapping. You ready? Let's go. There are several ways to abundance. And today we're gonna to be discussing one of the major ones. Okay, you might've heard of EFP, EFT tapping, emotional freedom tapping. I heard of it two years ago, but I never did it until I was introduced to it by a coach. 
I've been kind of searching around for different things. You know, as a single mom, you read books. You try to be the best person you can be. And searching around for different coaches, I finally came to the realization that my whole life has been a testimony. My whole life has been on an assumption. That's how I started the business outside. Who would have knew? Who would have knew? And before this video is over, I'm gonna be meeting with somebody. In case you don't know me, I'm Renee, Lady Outside. I'll keep saying it. They call me Lady Outside because I started a business outside. Something that um, you probably wouldn't teach your ch child how to do, right? But the EFT tapping, emotional freedom tapping is exactly what it says. I am not certified in it, but I believe in it. You don't have to believe in it, but it still does work. So because we're single parents, we want to get to the root of the problem. Instead of all the cursing, the backbiting, and the hitting, and the yeah, threatening, that comes as a parent from frustration. So we're going to just get a little bit out of our frustrations out on this EFT tapping, lady outside style, pretty much. That's what it is. Because you can do it in all ways. There's all points of the body that you can hit, but... This is for a stress relief, stress management for single parents. I'll say that. EFT, emotional freedom tapping for single moms to get rid of a little bit of stress to save our throat chakras from yelling and constantly saying the same things over and over again. But we can do that, but we're going to do it with a peace of mind. So let's get started. So you could do this outside or you could do it by a window. And stay to the end, I'll tell you why by a window. But the tapping, we know the points like this. Some people pat. So we're gonna call that you could do pat or tap. Pat or tap. Pat or tap. Pat or tap. It means something. Because the tapping or the patting has a different, to me, frequency. But today we're gonna do patting. So we're gonna get to the root. The root is right here on the thighs. Let's see. The thigh area. Right here on the thigh. Pat that out. That's the root, the root chakra. Now you could tap. See what I'm saying about the tapping versus the patting? We're gonna tap, tap on the root. If your body feels sore in any kind of way, that's when you really have to do it. Tap on it, tap it out, pat it out. Pat, 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 pat it out. That's the root, the root chakra, the root of it all. Just keep patting it. Just keep patting it. Let's ground ourselves. I have my shoes on, but you can have your shoes off. That would be great. I have my shoes on though today. I've just some sneakers on. Just pat it out. And we're gonna move from the, we're getting rooted, and then we're gonna go, we're gonna rise up to the head. We're gonna pat the head. And this right here, patting the head, it's just, to me, it's just saying, I'm activating. I'm activating. I'm saying hello. Hello. I'm here. And we're going to begin. Something's going on. That's what, the, that's what the patting of the head means. Something's going on. Pat, 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 pat. How do you feel so far? Don't you feel something from here? to there now we'll get into the meat of it right we're going to go to our third eye which you might be familiar with your third eye if you're not just still do the tapping and you can learn and research later the thing is to get into the feeling of what's going on so we root it we pat it here we pat it here and now we're going to pat here this is just say you could just say whatever you want to say i know that i'm a powerful mom I love myself. This is my workout at the gym or away from the gym. So this way, when we pat here, 
once we do the root and we do here, the body knows it's something's getting ready to come. And then once we do the, the padding, then that signals to us that the padding alone signals to us whatever we're feeling, whatever we're feeling, whatever kind of stress you're feeling. It's not so much of saying, it's just kind of just tapping the points out, padding, getting, getting the body used to, it's kind of like, wake up, wake up, wake up. That's how I'm looking at it. Pat the third eye, or you can tap, but I pat, because this is a workout. And the third eye is just, like I said, just aware, I'm outside, so I'm aware of my surroundings. If you're in your room, just be aware, aware of where you're at. Okay, so from, we went here, then we're gonna go to the heart and pat the heart. The, the heart is for so, so much caring, right? As we do as single parents, we care so much. And then two, grieving too. My mom passed. My mom passed. My son's father passed away. My grandma passed away. My dad passed away. If you feel any kind of tear or anything like that, that's because maybe it's still tender for you. For me, I accept it. I accept it. I accept all of it. And I feel strong today about it. And I know the ancestors, that's me, the ancestors are with me and have been, have been with me the whole time. So pat that part out. Say what words are meant for you to say. The whole thing to get is the padding. You can tap, but the padding, because this is a workout of the body, stimulating the body. Go for the heart. Then from there, which I learned, which was so powerful to me, is underneath here patting underneath here, underneath the breast, pat there. That area right there, if you're sensitive right there, pat, pat, pat away. This right here is the core. This is the core of control. If somebody's controlling you or you feel like you're being controlled or you can't control your children, it's okay. Because guess what? Nobody controls anybody. You give the lesson that you can give. You hope they follow it. And if they don't, it's not your fault. It's, but you can only control yourself. So this is for control. Have control. You could even say it. Control. I am in control. I am in control. So... We're gonna start tapping. I say the word tap, but it's really pat. We're gonna start patting. We're gonna go with the root. If you're outside, I have no shoes on, make sure you're grounded. You could be grounded, you could do inside or outside, but make sure you're by a window. Start patting. This is the root chakra. Start patting, you pat here. And when you pat here, you just say, hey, this is the day. That's abundant for me. Every day is abundant for me. And you tap it out, you use your own words. Then from there, you can go to the head. That connects you with the higher self. That's what I'm saying with here. I'm patting. You can tap, but I'm patting. Pat. Then from there, I go to the heart. Release whatever's there on the heart. Whatever you wanna say about your children, the man you were with, your baby's father, Release all of it. Release it all from the heart. Then you go under here, the solar plex. Where your system is in control. You release all of that. You cannot control anyone but yourself. You can't really control your children. You can whoop them and spank them. But at the end of the day, they may do it again. So this is just to release any kind of control. Just know that you're in control of yourself. So you can pat here. Then after you pat there, you can go here. Just the third eye, just recognizing that you're a human. Recognizing that you're a being that can be powerful, that can assume, that can wonder and imagine. Use that for this, just for the padding exercise without going to the gym. So you do all the padding.
right? And then after that, you shake it off. If I was in my house, I would shake it off. Just shake all of it off. Me, that's how I do it. I shake it all off. I go from bottom to top. I imagine some kind of a whirlwind out of my mouth. I ball it up and I throw it out the window. That's how I do it. If I was outside, I shake it off like I am now. Shake it off. Breathe. And as I learned, this cap off. Peace. And that's just getting all of it just off of you. Try it at home. If you're outside, get grounded, take your shoes off, but you could try it at home. Or if you're in, a, in your car, you could try with the root. If you're in a light, start tapping your thigh. I am grounded and this soon shall pass. Try it. That's called, um, that's how I do it. It's various ways that you can tap, but I call it pat as an exercise. Cause I used to be real athletic. So that's my way of not going to the gym or if you can't get outside, start patting the different spots of your body to relieve stress. Single mom, single dad, try it.